Hi guys, this is Stabber with Red and White Gaming. This is a new tutorial video. It's going to be a pretty short one again. And it's basically just going to cover uh, some of the the uh, damage types for different weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Foot Knight here when the mesh starts. Because the Foot Knight can do uh, any of the damage types with his... He's got a pretty good amount of weapons. I'm going to join Lancaster. Oops, the now the uh, the different damage types, there are three of them, are slashing, piercing, and blunt. And I'll give a quick overview of those, but I'm gonna Kill go start start to go fight with the uh, with the slashing damage first. Now remember, guys, zoom out. I'm not gonna use the visor for this tutorial because I want to give a better uh, get a better view for everybody. It's a little harder to see with the visor on the t on the videos on YouTube. But uh, slashing damage is good against light and medium armor, but it's extremely ineffective against heavy. Um, piercing damage is good against everything, but it's, it's the most effective against heavy because it goes right through heavy armor. And blunt damage is, is generally good all around the board, but it's most effective on uh, breaking enemy shields or enemy weapons if they're blocking. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and show you a little light damage, uh, or light or medium armor damage, if I can get up there and hit that archer. Slashing damage is mostly looks like I can't get up there. Slashing damage is mostly done with um, with swords, but there are a few other weapons like some of the axes can do it too. And it's just uh oh this guy got insta kill too bad. Um, it uh it, it's it's very good against light armor and it's just a typical slashing motion. Looks like Krieger there just uh lagged out pretty badly. It's kind of funny to see him moonwalking across the open air. So here's a medium arm armored guy, and we're gonna go ahead and get some slashing damage on him. 26 damage. I didn't really get a chance to do much there. Let's see how slashing works on plate right here. Blue blue shield right there, no damage. That's pretty typical. Slashing on, on this archer here, 17, 27. 51. Got a headshot there, 20. Now I'm gonna go a little bit against my own my own uh, advice here and play a little lot more offensively in this in this uh, tutorial because I want to give you an, an idea of what each each damage type does. So I'll show a little more slashing damage on, on heavy armor here. You can see that you're getting blue plates there. That means you're not doing any damage. Oh, I got a headshot there. No damage. No damage. So you can see the slashing is very ineffective against heavy armor. So now let's go ahead and switch to uh, switch piercing damage, and piercing damage is effective against heavy armor. I don't know how this guy is continually attacking me. I've heard there's a, a bug with the with the longsword, or the claymore, but never knew if it was true or not. Anyways, piercing damage. Piercing damage is much more effective against heavy. Look at that, six damage right there. Six. It's a little, little low for the, this weapon. There we go. Good block there. Let's see if we can get away and heal. Yeah, I just uh, I want to get a quick heal off before I fight this guy. Now he's switching to the mace now. Yeah, I'm not sure what was up with that. Couldn't seem to block any of his attacks, even after they nerfed the the Scottish sword. So I'll give it another shot. But you can see I did some piercing damage there with the sword. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the poleaxe, which in my opinion is a much better weapon. Because it can do all three damage types. And you can switch to the head of the poleaxe, the uh, hammerhead, by pushing Q here. You can kind of see if I zoom in, it's switching back and forth there. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and start using the piercing end, that's the very pointy tip there. Let's see if we can find a heavy armored guy to show us off. Here we go, right here. So I'm going to charge up my piercing attack. 23 damage right there. And again, I'm getting uh, getting double teamed here. 26. There's a good hit there, a couple different ones. I'm going to play a little more defensively against these guys. Man, I can't seem to get any hits. And this is one of the problems with piercing damage. He can see that piercing hit coming, because you can only pierce with the thrust damage. 44 right there. You 
can only, I mean, you can only da do damage against heavy with the piercing or, or blunt. 21. Yep, he blocked that piercing pretty easily. 11. But you can see that piercing damage has basically no trouble getting through heavy. And when it does, it usually does a pretty big amount of damage. So that's the one you want to use against heavy arm. And now I'm going to switch to blunt. And blunt's all around, it's good against pretty much every every type of armor. But it's really most effective against um, against breaking shields or, or breaking blocks. We'll see if we can show you right here. 68 damage to your shield right there. Let's see if we can break it. 50 damage to him. 70 damage to his shield, right there, broken. And now once he's, he doesn't have that shield me anymore, he should be uh, pretty easy. So you can see blunt damage also does quite a bit of damage to uh, to the armors themselves. But uh, I don't think it's as effective as piercing. 64 damage to his shield. And he bled out. Let's see if we can break somebody's weapon. That's always pretty cool. Thirty-three to heavy armor. So while blunt isn't the best to be using constantly, you can always use it if you have to. It'll get you out of a. Uh, I don't think you can survive that fall. Oh, I guess you can. It'll it'll get you out of a pickle if you ha if you have to. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and and play for a few, just a few minutes now, and I'll show you how I kind of adapt my uh, my different styles for different armors. So I'm gonna go ahead and. See if I can get this guy with piercing damage. Blocking the wrong way there. I think he's gonna try to heal, so I'm gonna chase him. And get shot twice. Gotta get away to heal. Okay, let's uh let's avoid that area. It's just a kill zone for those archers. See if we can find some more targets. So I'm getting a pretty good flank here. He's an archer, I'm gonna pull up my sword, it's a little faster. Missed there. So he's pulling his shield out, I'm gonna pull up my my uh my blunt weapon here. See if I can break his shield. Or just break his face. 41. I wish he would block so I could show this off, but apparently he doesn't feel blocking. 78 to his head right there. So we'll go ahead and use a, keep using our blunt weapon for the shield. 44. 53. He's done. Here's a heavy, so we're going to go ahead and use our, uh, our piercing damage. 12. 20. 9. 9. 25. You can see that I can do this all day. He's gonna keep charging me, playing offensively. Heavy armor right- oh, he's got a shield actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep using the blunt. I need to get out of here, I don't want to get surrounded too badly. That's one thing, if you're fighting in a group, and I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully do a tutorial for this later, you always want to keep your eye on both of the enemies, and have your screen zoomed out so you can see a little better. So this guy's heavy only, he doesn't he's not using his shield, so I'm gonna keep, keep using piercing damage. 35. Let's go ahead and use uh, blunt on this guy for a shield. Oh, got a little piercing there. 42. Here's a heavy, we'll use piercing. You can see not many people use uh, light and medium. I haven't really had to switch to my sword yet. Chase him down. There we go, 42. Let's see if we can get a good little flank on these archers over here. Oh, here's an archer. I'll pull out my sword. Oh, never mind. Heavy armor right here with the shield, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my piercing. Oh, here's an archer, perfect. 
fell off. Hopefully he falls too. So you can see how fast slashing damage is, and it might not as much against medium, but uh... Oh, he's wearing light actually. But you can usually get some quick kills with it if, if they don't have heavy armor on. Let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out, he's got a shield. Oh, he just got taken out. Got heavy armor, so I'm going to do piercing here. And you can see pretty clearly that the uh, the Polax is a great weapon because it's got the capability to do all three the, the types. So I just got taken down there. Um, that's going to be about it for this tutorial. I just want to go back over the three real fast. You've got slashing damage, which can be done with swords and some axes. And it's just the simple slashing motion. You got uh, piercing damage, which is much better against heavy armor. You can do it with swords, you can do it with any pole weapon. It's just a thrust attack there. And then you've got blunt damage, which can be done with the hammer end of the pole weapons, or the hammers themselves. And uh, that's good against breaking shields and breaking uh, breaking weapons. So I hope you've gotten a little, uh, a little more familiar with the damage types here. And uh, I'll be looking at making some new videos pretty soon. So if you have any requests, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.